Hello everyone, back again with us, Blue Caps. In this video, we will continue Classroom for Heroes anime storyline. In the 10th episode, Arnest and the others feel sorry because Blade never celebrated his birthday. Then, they decide to throw a surprise birthday celebration for Blade. We warn you that this video will contain spoilers, and we recommend you watch the original film. But before that, remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to catch our latest videos. This anime continues by showing Blade and Arnest watching a student celebrate her birthday. Blade asks what a birthday means, and Arnest is confused because Blade doesn't know. It is seen that Arnest and the others are planning to celebrate Blade's birthday but they don't know when he was born and how old he is. Done said that since she found Blade, he is now probably 17 years old. Arnest suggests giving a gift of katsu curry as Blade's favorite food, but the others seem hesitant because it is too ordinary. Suddenly, the king comes and proposes to make a special katsu curry for Blade. It is seen that the king is showing the students a place where the royal food is stored. Seeing that, the students are shocked, and then the king tells them to do a survival training simulation there. They enter a forest, and then the king tells them that they can return after completing the conditions he gives, and they are also given a deadline. Blade is doubtful, but it turns out that Arnest and the other students are enthusiastic instead, which confuses Blade. It is seen that Jessica becomes bait for an animal so her friends can trap it. Leonard and the others are waiting. But suddenly, the animal turns to chase Claire, and seeing that, Leonard tries to attack the animal but is unsuccessful. Mao sees Blade come, then she immediately brings out her lightning power until the animal dies. They bring the animal to headquarters as an ingredient for their dinner. Blade looks around and realizes that his friends are busy with their activities. After that, Blade who is soaking, is visited by Arnest who intends to accompany him. Blade tells about his childhood, where he was always fighting and never felt any celebration. Hearing that, Arnest feels sorry and slowly moves her body closer to Blade, but suddenly, Claire who since the beginning has been peeking alone with Jessica, appears to separate them. The next day, the students gather, and the king gives them paper sheets containing a list of food ingredients they have to look for. With enthusiasm, Arnest and the others prepare to carry out the mission. They enter the cave and are going to catch a giant cabbage there. Arnest tries to attack the cabbage, and the cabbage attacks Arnest back, but Arnest manages to fend it off. Arnest who is annoyed, wants to burn it but Sophie holds her back because they have to catch him raw. They all finally attack the cabbage together until the cabbage is caught. Now, they will catch the giant corn, but they should fight it with boxing. They tell Blade to fight the corn, and with various attacks from both, Blade finally manages to defeat it. After that, Kasim and Clay try to catch giant tomatoes. Then Arnest, Leonard, and Iona try to pick super hot chilies that make them cry. Ku, Maria, and Eliza will take the sunflowers, but the flowers shoot them with fire lasers. Feeling annoyed, Maria and Ku change their form to fight and take the flowers. After that, they will take giant carrots. Blade tries to pull the carrot but the carrot immediately makes a loud sound. Iona volunteers herself to pull it out because she isn't human and definitely won't be affected by the carrot's sound effects. The carrot immediately makes a loud sound when Iona pulls it. Even the loud sounds destroy some birds and leaves on the trees. But they finally manage to catch them and go home riding the carrots. At night, the king and the students have dinner together, then the king says that he is proud of them all even though the population of these creatures will become extinct. Then, the king warns that tomorrow will be their final and determination day. The next day, the students gather under the biggest tree in the forest, which also serves as the forest's center. Suddenly, a cow monster comes, and it turns out it is a king they have to defeat to make food. When Blade is ready to fight him, a larger monster kills the cow monster. They are shocked when they see that it is a behemoth. 
Seeing that, the king is happy and immediately orders them to defeat the behemoth. Blade doubts, but Arnest and the others are excited to beat the behemoth because they want to eat its flesh. Arnest changes her form, and they start attacking the behemoth together. However, it turns out that behemoth is too strong, causing several students to be injured. Sophie and Iona try to attack Behemoth, then are followed by Ku and Mao who also attack him. After that, Arnest attacks the Behemoth until all the attacks explode on his body, but it turns out that the Behemoth can still survive. Behemoth tries to attack back, but Leonard manages to protect his friends. Blade decides to use his power, but because he can only use 15% of his power, he asks Mao to help her with her spirit power. Because it feels like it is taking too long, Mao finally kisses Blade to share her power with Blade's body. Arnest and the others will attack the behemoth again. Sophie attacks with her gravitational power, after which Iona immediately shoots it. Unfortunately, their attack is still unsuccessful, and after that, the other students try to attack again together. Blade and Mao prepare to attack the behemoth with their swords. After uniting their powers, they run and slash the behemoth's body until it splits, and the behemoth finally dies. Blade lays on Mao's lap because he feels exhausted. The next day at school, the teacher tells Blade that Blade's power has increased due to regular food and exercise. Blade enters the cafeteria and is surprised that his friends surprise him to celebrate Blade's birthday. Blade doesn't expect it, then Arnest opens a gift for Blade, which turns out to be a special curry with behemoth meat. The king comes, and Blade who is felt touched, immediately eats the curry. Blade holds back his tears because the king once said boys should not cry. The king scolds him and then allows Blade to cry. After that, Without being able to hold it in any longer, Blad cries and thanks his friends there. So, is it interesting enough about the storyline of this anime? If you're still curious about the continuation of this anime, you can wait for the latest video on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.